I'll be presenting today's Radiopedia.org case in radiology, caudal regression syndrome associated with left isomerism. Case courtesy is demonstrated here, and the case link is in the description below. Presentation, we have a 45-year-old male with a pelvic deformity, including a narrow pelvis, hypoplastic gluteal muscles, and a shallow intergluteal cleft. On x-ray, we see that there's complete absence of the sacrococcyx as well as L4, L5. There's also partial absence of the L3 vertebrae causing a narrow pelvis. There's also several coarse calcified foci observed in the lower portion of the pelvic cavity, as well as degenerative changes such as space narrowing and subchondral sclerosis in both hip joints. On CT, we again see that the sacrococcyx L4 and L5 vertebrae are entirely absent, as well as partial absence of the L3 vertebrae, inferring caudal regression syndrome. In addition, some associated abnormalities are evident consistent with left isomerism, including agenesis of the dorsal pancreas, polysplenia, and azygous continuation of the IVC. Caudal regression syndrome is a rare and malformations vary from isolated partial agenesis of the coccyx to lumbosacral agenesis. There is no gender predilection. Most cases are sporadic, however, familial cases occasionally occur. An association with vactral and currarenal triad syndrome complexes has been reported, but caudal regression syndrome with left isomerism is very rare and just reported in a few cases worldwide.